Church Militant recently reported on the loss of faith among millennials, people in their mid-20s to mid-30s. But faithful millennials, especially college students, are taking the full brunt of cancel culture. Church Militant's Christine Chrisleep, however, has a happy ending to a story we broke about a year ago. I never imagined I would be fired for being a Christian. Student leader Jack Denton just won a federal lawsuit against Florida State University for denying his right of free speech. Denton's ordeal began last June in a private chat space with other members of a Catholic student group. In my private capacity, in not acting as the student senate president, I was just acting as Jack Denton, member of the Catholic Student Union, in our private group chat for Catholic students. I just simply sent a message, uh, you know, letting people know that a few causes that someone asked us to support ran contrary to our Catholic faith. A fellow Catholic took screenshots of Denton's comments and sent them to the student senate, resulting in Denton's removal as senate president. In his comments to other Catholic students, Denton expressed concern about supporting the pro-communist, pro-homosexual Black Lives Matter. It's a pretty substantial problem culturally among public universities, both in terms of administration and faculty and student bodies. And so that's why it was so critical that Jack stood up for his rights here. And that's why we're so pleased to get a federal court order back in October and a favorable settlement here. Denton's lawyer praised the young Catholic for how he lovingly and thoughtfully engaged with the university and stood up for his rights. Christine Christley. Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. For its part, denying Jack his rights, Florida State has, uh, has agreed to the following, to pay Jack $10,000 in damages, to pay Jack's attorney's fees, to give him back pay for when he was removed as Senate president, to correct his student record, and to publish a statement that the university is committed to protecting students' religious liberty. Congratulations, Jack, and the Alliance Defending Freedom for the fine job they did with you.